Hey guys and gals, hope you're doing good today. Uh, as I told you on the last video that we were d demoing a bathroom. So here it is. Looks like a war zone. Like a war has happened in here. This bathroom was in bad shape. Um, I studied on it. I tried to figure out how to do what to do without demoing it down to the studs like this, but I just didn't see any real way and I want it to be a nice bathroom. There's a nice kitchen in this house and so the bathroom was a room that just really needs some upgrading and improving. So that's what we're going to do here with this. So as this comes along further and further, going to tear this out, put a new vanity and everything in. Maybe more than you mean you both can have it. I don't know. It ain't gonna be easy. I come out in the whole shit. Let's see if we can just sit it around the corner. I don't know. <clears throat> Let's just go on to the front porch. That worked out good. Yep. Coming out in the whole sheet. Mm -hmm. This right here might do it. Might do it. Yeah. That made fast work of that. Mm -hmm. That wall. One of the things I like about this uh, Milwaukee Surge, this is the 18 bolt. If some of these are really glued, kind of got a lot of glue on them, is you can just barely pull the trigger in and hit it easy. And back it out and not strip the head. Quiet, quiet. This thing is quiet. It's older than me and you both, I imagine. I'm just wondering if you're going to get it all back together. That's what I'm kind of wondering, you know. Well, I might have, may have to go talk to Ashley. See what she's to pay, <laughs> pay somebody. Shoot, man, you'll get it. Ashley figured it out. Yeah. <clears throat> man, you get it. Ain't nothing too hard for us. Woo, it's a mess. We'll find a way. Hey, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. Well, we done gotten too deep in this thing to worry about it now. <laughs> <laughs> we done too far to turn back now. We done took out part of the ceiling. Jeff said if we's gonna go, we might as well go big. But well, we done took a whole ceiling out in here. <laughs> so what we're doing now is we're truing these walls back up. These are true, and these are true over here. But this one's not true. Can you see the difference of it sticking out right there? So I've had to true those up right there. So that's why I, those are sticking out like they are, and that's why I'm rebracing them. It's just, who knows? The wood may have been bowed when they put it up, may have moved over time. You can see a little gap right there. May have slid back a little bit. Well, it's next morning. We've got, uh, I put one ceiling, whatever you want to call it, joist or whatever, that the sheetrock's going to hang on. I've got another one across, and I'm, I'll put probably one or two more here and one over there. 
see I had to bang the DeWalt light with the rafter hook, hang it in. It was just dark back in this area, so to light that up. Pretty cold outside, so we're gonna cut our two befores in here with the 60 volt circular saw. Just put a brand new Diablo framing nail blade on there. We're gonna use this 60 volt vacuum here. Jeff's got the remote on him somewhere. Right on my wrist. Got it on his wrist right there <laughs> where he can turn it on and off. Wound up putting tape over the hole where that vacuum cleaner hole connects to the circular saw. Well, it's starting to look like something, I guess. You can see we framed a wall up right there that's, you know, boxing in the shower. We've put up the mold resistant sheetrock for the ceiling. So slowly but surely, just putting a little bit of sheetrock mud over all the screws. Start covering them up, sanding it, getting it ready. To paint. Well, this is the next day and we're ship lapping. This is where the toilet's gonna go. I don't know if it's the camera's picking up that little where I had to cut that out, but because that floor, uh, <coughs> the water, <coughs> excuse me, just meant I handled that insulation. Where it's got me. All right, where the water supply comes in for the toilet is back, and this stuff is thicker. So I had to make that little indention. I'll caulk it. We'll paint it. I'll dress it up. It'll be behind the toilet and be okay. But anyway, just to show you what we're doing. See, we got the plug cut in. Still too early to be yawning, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I went to bed too early last night. I went to bed about 9 o'clock. Did you? Yeah. That shit bought some Wendy's chili. Oh, man, that's good chili. Oh, man. Good chili. Yeah. Uh, 47 inches. Yeah. We knocked it out. Can't believe we did. But we did. Jeff's going to put a painting on it tomorrow. Looks pretty good. I got that, uh, I don't know if it's Schluter board, Curdy board or whatever on yesterday. And I didn't buy the rolls of this because I had a bunch of some of this left over. You know, this is what you roll out on the walls when you do it over sheetrock. And so I was just cutting these into uh, about three inch strips just to use them to stay from having to buy, buy some of this. You can see where I cut them, put them in the corners there. And then uh, in these corners, of course, you know, this is an old, old house. I don't know what it was built, 40s, 50s, 60s. Don't really know. So nothing's real true. So in the corners, there was a little bit of gap. So I just fill it full of that thin set filled those any cracks that was in there full of that and then put the paper in there so one thing i like about this system so well is it's got so many avenues to waterproof it and then where there was a little crack around like so i just filled that full of mud so now i'm just uh doing in this niche right here This system is high, but it's good.
this is what we got done we're quitting for today of course you can see the ship lap painted ceiling painted and we started laying a little tile got it in the niche up here released it all right moving on with this bathroom we've got it all tiled Jeff is grouting getting it started and I'm gonna start working on this area right here and see what we can do with this as you can see it it has some trouble and needs help I'm gonna try to rip a quarter inch piece of plywood and make like um, shiplap look like this shiplap that we put on last week and Jeff painted. So I'm gonna try to do that to this and this and this and this and then put the mirror back up. And uh, this down here, I'm gonna put Luan on that so we hide that. For cutting Luan, this little stuff, I like the Milwaukee 12. I got a 6.0 battery on it. I've got the guide here, whatever you want to call that, the shoe or whatever, just set where it'll barely penetrate through there. Not something that's gotta be just a perfect cut, but pretty close. Now this piece of Luan here is not real straight. So I, I would like it to have a little straighter edge in that. So my saw width right here is four and a half. So what I did is came in four and three quarters, put this Bora track on here that locks on. Try to kind of get a straighter edge get it kind of cleared up a little bit a little straighter okay now it's from this edge to the cutting blade is three and a half inches so what i did is i want a 12 inch piece of wood so i measured 12 inches and then three and a half over clamp this bora track saw and then that puts me right on my mark Greater piece. This bathroom is very tiny. I have to put the camera on super view a lot. I know the lighting is not that great. There's just not a lot of places to put any extra light. I'm doing the best I can do in the situation I'm in. As you probably already know, this is liquid nail. Just help it bond to this wall. This is that Luan I just ripped. It's gonna be behind the vanity. We'll paint it white. It'll kind of dress that area up. All right, this is what I'm gonna cut my, uh, probably gonna cut them about five inches wide. Uh, this is real close to quarter inch, I think. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's half inch. I guess it'll be half inch then. But what I'm gonna cut my fake shiplap out of, sorry about the shadow, but, um, I just need 34 inches. I got a factory edge down there on that side. And I got a factory edge right here, I believe. Probably a factory edge right here. So I'm gonna cut this across 34 inches. 
that's going to be my longest board I'm going to need. And then just start ripping it and making shiplap out of it. I am measuring up eight and three quarters. Put me a line. This little jewel right here it would be good if I had clamps with me today. I'd still be set. And I take this and this, set them on my lines, lock it down. This one needs to come over a little more. Maybe right there. Now this uh, half inch plywood, it's, it's a load on this little M12. eight and three quarters and that's going to give me five inches and an eighth is about what that's going to give me my problem a lot of times is i've got tools scattered everywhere different towns and i need my clamps but they're in a different town and it's a 30 minute drive to go 30 minutes back i don't want to waste an hour so there's two if they ain't Perfect, perfect. Man, they are. They're good. If I had, you know, two or three sheets of plywood, I'd use the big saw. That way, you know, I'd make a cut and maybe get about four at a time. But I'm trying to use up scrap wood because I always have a lot of scrap wood because I don't throw anything away. And I like trying to use everything up. I had to call old Big Daddy in speed it up. I had to get more of an assembly line going. There it is going on, and I'm using a tile spacer to make the spaces between there.
spray painting in between the cracks with a flat white paint so that no color shows through in between those cracks. You see this little beam that goes, I don't know why they did this drop like ceiling in here, what's going on with all this, but it's here and it is what it is, but you see that. I just happen to have three of these here. They're, you know, they're rough. I'll put this on the inside. I can make them work, a little sand and whatnot. But I'm gonna make these to make a box. But there's a little lip in there, and I'll show you in a minute, that I need to go over. So I'm gonna have to rip a lip out of this right here. And, you know, just leave a little thin piece right here to go over. I'm always just saving wood and so in remodeling these rental houses I just make work what I've got to keep from going and buying something to try to keep my expenses down and to help with just the the cost so I just use the scrap wood wood I've got left over. There's the way you make a, a lip. Can you, by chance, hand me that nail gun, please? When I got this up here, I should have picked it up. And let me turn it on. All right, thank you. I got it. This is a vanity I bought from Home Depot, and I've never seen this before, and I think I might like it. You see the, you see the shelf is there. It's not put in. So I set this in and get it situated, makes it lighter to handle, and then cut my holes out here for my water because my water is not going to be in the back. Well, this video is going to draw to an end. The bathroom is close enough, I think, to kind of conclude it. See Jeff putting where I just made that beam little thing all the way around, he's putting the paint on it. One more time, the shiplap, I'm kind of proud of that. And then here we are, I've set the vanity in. There we are with what I did with the plywood. I think it turned out good. It's, you know, kind of got that country farmhouse feel to it. And this house is, you know, it ain't the uh, newest of houses. So I think it'll, so I think it'll blend in. Guys, I thank you for watching this video through. I hope you enjoyed the redo of the bathroom. Let me know in the comments, do you like it? Me making a video from start to end, or had you rather me break them up into sections? Guys, y'all have a blessed day. Thank you a lot.